Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nick. If you are new here, welcome. If you are not new here, welcome back. We are taking a little bit of a break from Hannibal because I would also like to be able to watch other things. Okay, so today we are getting into something that I have seen everybody talking about. It's been blowing up my Twitter, it's been blowing up Reddit, and I have absolutely no idea what the hell this show is even about. We are getting into the first two episodes of Yellow Jackets. I don't know if this is horror, I don't know if this is thriller. I don't, like the plot of the show, nothing. I know nothing about the plot of the show. All I do know is that Christina Ricci is in it and Jasmine Savoy Brown is in it. And I like both of them, especially Christina Ricci because f***ing Christina Ricci and Jasmine Savoy Brown killed it figuratively in Scream 2022 or tw tw it's Scream 5. So before we get into the first episode, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification button so that you can get notifications for when I upload a new video. Make sure to check me out on social media. I have Instagram, I have Twitter. Feel free to check out my Patreon. You will get access to exclusive polls, the ability to help pick what I watch next, and also, you know, to help support the channel. All right, since we got all the housekeeping out of the way, let's get into the reaction. This is episode one of Yellow Jackets. <laughs> Who's she running from? Oh, this is like some Blair Witch shit. The little totems hanging from the trees. Is she okay? She she's not okay. Are you okay? Oh, what is that? I'll never forget the day I heard their plane had gone missing. Would you say you were close with any of the girls on the team? So a group of girls went missing? Was she supposed to do that? Was it supposed to bounce off her head like that? Ooh, she's faking it. My turn. Uh, she wanted to leave, and he did that all so that he can get off. Do it yourself. Will you look at this boy? Ugh. Also, if you're sneaking out of the house, don't run across the front lawn where everybody can see you. I decided on a color palette for our room at Rutgers next year. Pink and green. It's like classic preppy meets Palm Beach. No, don't decorate your dorm room like a f***ing watermelon. <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay, who was this full-grown woman vibrating herself to? To that girl's boyfriend? Is that who was in that photo? <laughs> Sorry, do we know each other? Jessica Roberts, Star Ledger. Fuck off, Jessica. Wait, 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 wait. I don't talk to reporters. So she must be related to somebody that like w was in whatever accident or disappearance or whatever that they're talking about? The plane crashed, a bunch of my friends died and the rest of us starved and scavenged and prayed for 19 months. 19 months? Where, where, where did the plane crash? How the hell did they survive a plane crash? This is the kind of money that could change your life. It's this is really how you thought your life was gonna turn out. Reporters are always so fucking skeevy. Always, always, every time. I don't give a shit what you meant, you smug little bitch. You don't know a fucking thing about my life. I'm surprised she didn't just mollywop her ass. Oh. Oh. Ooh, that's gorgeous. Look at that. Natalie, time for group. <gasps> Miss Juliet Lewis? Yes! I love her. Oh no. Is that that girl that fell in the pit? Oh my god, wait, did they like turn to cannibalism and start like hunting and eating each other? Yes! What happened out there, what I saw, what I did. Oh my God, what did you do? You literally never told us. Yeah, spill the tea. I wanna hear it. After they rescued us, I, I lost my purpose. Thanks to my time here, I finally know how to get it back. So am I supposed to like question each of the girls now to try to figure out which one turned into a cannibal or not? Show us your tits. <laughs> oh, come on, don't be shy. Oh. oh. <laughs> That's how you do it. <laughs> oh, I know her. She's from, um, uh, 
Santa Clarita diet, which should not have been canceled, by the way. I'm still bitter about that. I'm the only freshman who got asked, you know, if my dress was gonna be amazing. Well, hey, at least you can wear it next year. You don't get it, Van, because nobody asked you. Ew, shady bitch. Do you have any idea why I made you team captain this year? Sean was faster, Lottie's got better footwork by a mile. Thaisa. Is this a pep talk? Right. You possess something no one else on this team has. Influence. If things get tough out there, those girls are gonna need someone to guide them. So she's like the leader of it all. Did she lead them into cannibalism too? Okay, whoever this is, I love her. She's amazing. <laughs> I am Paradise Lost. <laughs> just breathe. We want natural. We want Kennedy's. Yeah, I was just about to say, they look like they're f***ing trying to hold in a fart the way that they're posed. You just need to loosen up. What can I do to help? Mm -hmm. Want a shot of tequila? <laughs> Want a little quickie in the bathroom? <laughs> Ooh, lesbonyms. They're lesbonyms. Sometimes you just feel like giving up on men altogether. What are you guys talking about? Allie, what about her? She totally choked. She's a freshman tie. She's a liability. So is Jasmine Savoy Brown, is that, she's the one that grows up to be like a, like lesbian senator lady? What's your plan then? I don't know. Play like a fucking team and win? Doesn't feel right. What are they planning on doing? Are they gonna try to kick the freshman girl off the team? Honey, you've got a big storm coming. Come on, Allie, that should have been yours. I wanna switch sides. I'll take Allie. Okay. All right, let's go, Varsity. Ooh, I don't trust her. She's about to do something shady. I feel it. Oh, oh, I heard something crack. I didn't like that. <laughs> oh, you better believe that as soon as she heals, as soon as that leg heals, if it does, she better whoop her ass. Guess what? I feel better. That's right, Mindy, you did that. Or Randy would be so disappointed. I know we're all really worried about Allie, but it might not be as bad as it looks. You can see her fucking bones, Jackie. Exactly. It, it, that was gnarly. Is there any way you could put the phone down for, I don't know, 90 seconds? Mm-mm. I don't have time for kids. I hate kids. Well, I thought that you and I could hang out tonight, like watch a movie. It's Friday night, right? Teenagers are disgusting. I mean, imagine talking to somebody like that. She's rude as hell. Ugh. Okay, so home by 11, please. That's bullshit. What's wrong with you? I'm a teach you nothing. You know, Randy's gonna be at the party tonight. He asked Jeff to ask me if you were gonna be there. So wait, was Randy like a popular name in the 90s? Cause it's like, so it, it takes place in 1996. The school colors are blue and yellow. It stars Jasmine Savoy Brown. There's a character named Randy. Scream 2022 with Jasmine Savoy Brown playing the niece of Randy Meeks. And she goes to Woodsboro High School whose school colors are blue and yellow. Was this intentional? You pick up a lot of people here? A few, sure. How many go straight to a bar? You wanna go to a bar? LAX, I'm catching a red eye. So wait a minute, she was on a plane that crashed and she was stranded doing God knows what for 19 months and she actively chose to get on a plane again? That's a brave woman. So is she in love with the main girl? <sighs> I dedicate that to you, sexy lady. Ugh. What the fuck is that? That's who they're trying to hook her up with at the party? Girl. Can be easy knowing you fucking crippled someone today. Just admit you did it on purpose. Excuse me? You heard me. Is she really trying to pretend like she did not bust open her leg on purpose? I want each of you to go down this line and say one nice true thing about every other girl on this team. Thaisa, you are beautiful in the eyes of our Lord. Oh, I don't have time for the crazy religious chick. No thanks. No thanks. Never have time for that. Tysa Turner, you have more fight in you than anyone I've ever known. I'm inspired by your determination. That was pretty nice of her. Laura Lee, I truly admire your faith. Do you? I'm sorry for what I said before. Why are you apologizing? You know, me and 
to hurt her. Okay, but just because you didn't mean to physically hurt her doesn't mean you shouldn't acknowledge the fact that you inadvertently caused her whole f***ing bone to come out of her leg. Ah. What is up, my sister? Now I'm going to fall and break my leg. Ah. You're the only one who's always been there for me. You're the best friend I've ever had. You know that, right? But she wants to be more than friends, I think. Oh my god, I thought that was Nancy. <laughs> I thought that was Nancy from The Craft for a second. Mister? Wait, was that girl really there? Misty was like the 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 the, the curly hair girl who was really excited, right? Ew, what the f is that? What was that? Those were like monsters or something. I mean, that was kind of lesbian-y too, to be honest. Like, I don't get out of the car and then stop and like look back at my friend's life. I don't do that, unless I want to have sex with them. Wait, wait. Oh, wait, hey, I, 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 I thought we weren't doing this again. <gasps> She's not a lesbian? <gasps> The backstabbery. The salaciousness. If you come inside me, I will raise the baby out of spite and train it to become a killing machine that eventually hunts you down. Got it? She is not only f***ing her best friend's boyfriend, but she's having unprotected sex with him. You are so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. Okay, so Sean is f***ing nuts. Is that, is that the, did she marry that man? Is the, is, is the, the, the rude ass daughter, is that the baby that she just conceived in the car? Two worlds oh my God. Jesus couldn't get you some better fucking wallpaper. What were those pills? Obviously that's gonna be some sort of important thing to the plot, but I couldn't see what was on the pill bottle. She doesn't have the best uh, childhood home. She got into brown. This little Miss Psycho not excited about the fact that she got into brown? Here, I'll give you guys a hand. So did they charter like a, a private jet, I'm assuming? I can't believe your dad paid for a private plane. Okay. <laughs> remember when you came to Hilton Head with us in second grade? No, but she remembers last night when your boyfriend came in the car. And I, oh! Don't joke about that. Swipe these from my mom's medicine cabinet. Valium. She's got like a never ending supply, so I doubt she'll even notice. I don't know if she needs a Valium. I think she needs a plan B. A reporter approached me today. She said she was with the local paper, but I Googled her and she wasn't credited in any bylines anywhere. I wonder who she was then. We agreed. Stay out of the public eye. I saw you on fucking television, Ty. If someone's digging, we are all fucked. I'm, I'm nervous to see the depths of hell that this show is about to get into when it comes to whatever the hell that they were all doing, because they are chalking it up pretty big. Damn, Juliet, who's she about to shoot? I wasn't sure how I'd feel, but I think it'll be good to reconnect with some old friends. Old friends? Is she gonna be the one that does something crazy? Oh wait, those are people? I thought those were some like weird monsters. Is this supposed to be them? Misty, Misty was the girl. <gasps> Fabulous, I love her. Oh, Wednesdays at that very special age when a girl has only one thing on her mind. Boys. Homicide. Gloria, did we have another accident? <sighs> she's familiar. No, this lady in the bed, she's familiar. She was on, she was on, I think she was an angel. Season two, she, she was in the hotel. She was the old lady in the hotel, I think. Can I go out now? 
You know, I think the morphine might be upsetting your tummy. Let's get this dose. Don't fuck with me. Okay. Okay, Misty. I didn't I didn't get those vibes from Misty when I saw her as a as a teenager. Okay, so wait, that that's Misty. Oh god, they really did turn into cannibals. Yeah, but you see, like, this this is more than just cannibalism. This is, like, ritualistic shit. So, like, how did they get that far gone? Oh, no. Oh, that's terrible. That's a nightmare right there. All right, so that was episode one of Yellow Jackets. Um... I'm interested. I was entertained. Obviously, it was just the first episode, so they, you know, kind of dropped the uh, the ingredients in there. So now we watch it cook throughout the rest of the season. So I'm trying to piece together, like, what we know so far. So we have a girl's soccer team. They're going to nationals. They get on a plane. The plane goes down for some reason. They land, crash land in the mountains. At some point, somehow, they turn to f***ing cannibalism and it like they become like a cult. Like it's like the village, but actually scary. They start eating people and hunting people and they're gone for like 19 months and then somehow they get rescued. There's shenanigans that have apparently happened that they don't other, I'm, I'm assuming it's probably more than just the fact that they were eating other people, but they're trying to hide stuff. There's reporters showing up and now we got to see the lives of some of them, like where they ended up. I'm confused on the character of Misty so far because she didn't, like they, they only occasionally showed a couple glimpses of her as a teenager, but then she shows up, Christina Ricci shows up at the end and is kind of scary. But yeah, I was entertained. I don't exactly know how I went from one show about cannibalism to another show about cannibalism, but maybe that's the theme of 2022. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe uh, Army Hammer is going to show up. Without further ado, let's get into episode two of Yellow Jackets. <laughs> Is that effective with her glasses on? 22 out. Speed break. Speed break. No fuel. No fuel. They didn't seem like they really knew what they were doing. Robbie Delgado, he's telling everybody you two did anal in the janitor's closet. Well, for your information, I've never even been in the janitor's closet. <laughs> for your information, I've never even been in the janitor's closet. <laughs> like, refutes that, but not the anal thing. I think you wish someone would do anal to you, Misty. Only... You're too ugly. Aw, poor Misty. You can think what you want. Opinion is the wilderness between knowledge and ignorance. Oh, maybe you shouldn't have said that. Oh my gosh, you're such a fucking weirdo. I feel like Christina Ricci's character is gonna end up being the one, Misty, she's gonna end up being the one that's like the ringleader and gets them to do all the crazy shit as like her seventh grade revenge. Oh my God, okay, you have to do it, okay? And then you have to tell me all of the horrible things that Regina says. Regina seems sweet. She's a scum-sucking road horse. She ruined my life. Come on. Oh, shit. Shauna, get up. Shauna, get the fuck up. Well, she can't get up, girl. You gave her a Valium. We have to help her. I'm coming, man. Help me, help me. Help her. Help her. Shauna, we gotta go. We gotta go. Do not leave her. Did they just leave her to burn to death? It's not like the shit exploded. Why didn't they help her? This is fucked up. We have to go back inside. Yes, you do. Oh. Oh, she exploded. I would still go back in there. She might. She might be okay. Or maybe y'all left her behind. And she's gonna come back for her revenge later. What's wrong with him? It's just his arm that's trapped under it, right? Can you move it? Yeah. Oh, his leg's under there too. <laughs> it like looked mangled, I think. His leg was fucked. Surprise, bitch. I bet you thought you'd seen the last of me. 
them up for leaving you behind. What be What is she doing? I mean, she kind of had to, but you guys need to stop the bleeding now. Oh, there she goes. Okay. Okay. All right. Misty kind of knows what to do. She thinks well in a crisis. Enough about me. What turns you on, Stan? Oh, uh, I, I don't know. Just, uh, usual stuff. Hair? He said hair? <laughs> Another real hair? No, That'd be that's great. A, it's just, I have to be up kind of early tomorrow. It's six o'clock. And I thought you said you just got fired. You need to dip out, Misty. We ain't got time for this nonsense. What the hell? I suppose one more drink won't kill me. Like, why is he being all weird about it? Like, look at her. She's gorgeous and whereas they have him dressed up like he just walked off the set of office space watch it hold still that no no, no. It's, it's too loose here <laughs> oh yeah she's totally gonna become the ringleader for sure all right bleeding slowing down we need to disinfect it somehow maybe somebody brought contraband <laughs> they all looked at the uh, taylor momsen jr over here guys how about this hey that's uh, great idea. Which hazel, I said purple alcohol. What was the whole thing with that? <gasps> was that like something for vaginas? You got pretty banged up, but Misty's doing a really good job. We have to tell oh. him. Are you really that psyched to tell him you dropped his fucking leg off with an axe? Where did she get that axe? Was that like something that was, why, why did she have an axe? I thought that was like just like a piece of the plane. Are you home? Maybe. Oh, do you not know how being home works? What do you want, mom? I don't like this Cali girl. And I don't have much hopes for her getting offed because this is present day. Who taught you how to drive? Are you okay? No, actually, I'm not. Because you are a fucking asshole. <laughs> wow. Oh, he's kind of cute. Wow. We probably don't even get our insurance involved. Oh, God, really? You got a pen? Well, I figured if I asked for your phone, I might end up in the hospital. Are they, like, flirting? Is she warm for his form? It's the number of a body shop. I know a good guy there. He owes me a favor. I'm Adam, by the way. Sean. Hi, Adam, by the way. Well, I've said it before and I'll say it again. Marriage lives up here, dies down here. It's quite the catchphrase. Yeah, that, that's yikes. Not only are you going to have sex, but I want you to share a fantasy with each other, something you never shared before. No, 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 no. You don't need to be sharing weird secret fantasies. Homegirl is, she is cracked out of her gourd. She's going to be like, I want to eat ass, but for real, and then eat him. Do you want to come inside? Um, you could be Caligula. What? Um, it's because you think I'm ugly. Is he gay? Uh, is he asexual? I don't get it. Like, she's beautiful. Hello, Misty. You crazy fucking bitch. What the f***? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, you need to dip. <laughs> oh my god. What? It came in the mail about a week ago. It's from an online app, so the postmark on the envelope is useless. How do I know you didn't send it to yourself? Well, I could ask you the same thing. So it's someone that knows, like, what they did, and now they're trying to f*** with them? <gasps> this is very, I know what you did last summer. Oh, do you want something to drink? I've got tea, I've got coconut LaCroix, I have sherry in the cupboard. Coconut LaCroix is my favorite LaCroix. Misty is kind of that bitch so far. If I've learned anything from the citizen detective community. The what? We're like private investigators, except for no one hired us or asked for our help. We work together online to solve cold cases. It's super fun. That kind of sounds pretty useful, to be honest. Who's Jessica Roberts? She claims to be a reporter, but I think that's a lie. Well, how could she know about, you know, maybe somebody talked. What does that symbol mean? Because they were doing some, some weird ritual shit out there, so. Here you go, ladies, from the gentleman in the back. Says it's your drink of choice. Who is that? Hey. Hi. Well, wow. it really is y'all. Hey, it's Misty, Misty Quigley from Third Period Spanish. <laughs> I love that she knows even like the period and number and everything. Misty is something else. I don't know how long you're in town for, but just in case, I'll leave this. If you maybe want to maybe get a drink of 20 years from now, you know how to reach me. Kevin Tan. Was this a character that we already met yet? Was this one of the, the people that were in the crash with them? No, because then Miss told me that's how gothy Kevin Tan would grow up. Oh, so it was the gothic kid. You are nothing. You are shit. One, two, three. Arm through. You got it. You got it. Come on. Come on. Come on. You got it. Misty is awesome. Yeah, she does seem kind of awesome. See, so y'all should stop 
fucking with her. She's probably the only thing that's gonna get you guys through this. Unless she's, you know, the reason you guys resort to cannibalism. The door ripped open when we were going down. He was trying to help one of you. He fell out. Your brother's still here, so maybe you should go help him. For real, listen to her. Well, maybe you should mind your own fucking business. Nope, that's when you kicked him in the forehead. But then again, he did just lose his father. But he was also kind of a dick before the plane went down, so... As the teacher's concerned, she says he's having a hard time making friends. But, I mean, I was kind of a loner when I was his age. There's nothing wrong with a little self-reliance. You also, like, broke a girl's leg in half. Maybe putting him in public school was a mistake. He's like listening in for what though? Ty's wife kind of seems like the, the brains of the operation though. I hate these buttons. Is this how they're supposed to start having sex? Need a little help over there? What am I not surprising you with how sexy this is? Sh she's having a hard time having sex with him? How? Why? I'll do it. Maybe it, it could be kind of hot if uh, you pretended to be a customer at the store. Let's try it. This is going to be so awkward. Oh, God. I'm here to make a return. Why would you be returning something? <laughs> She's bad. <laughs> She's bad at this. You got in an accident today? And you're just mentioning that now? How bad was it, Shauna? It was not a big deal. I'm fine, by the way. I like to see you're fine. They're definitely not having sex after this. Oh, my God. Where are you going? I'm just gonna jerk off and watch some sports center before bed. Ugh, ugh. That's incredibly awkward. <sighs> oh no. Girl, move out of the way. <laughs> oh, he got impaled by the tree. <laughs> Dad! <laughs> I mean, but he's like impaled by a giant branch. He's not alive. So like, what's the purpose of getting him out of the tree? Well, I guess they're probably planning on making like this their campsite because that's where it went down. So that would make sense to like stay there. And they probably don't want this man's corpse just sitting above them. So I guess I get it. What's that symbol for? Okay, so this symbol was already here. So this wasn't something they created. This was something that was already there. Okay, let's see if you can get this. Huh? A bunny. That's amazing! How the hell did she do that? Okay, so this is definitely not like her doing that, because that 100% just turned into a wolf. You know what? Let's, let's, let's go take a walk around the block. You can take your scooter. Oh no. Oh, he's dark-sided. He's drawing shit like the, like, like the little kid in the ring, Aiden. Oh, no, 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 no. What was the assignment? Draw your family and friends. Oh. So she can't see me. Who? The lady in the tree. She watches me at night. What? Look at me and tell me what you mean. I just did. Sammy. Sammy, Sammy, Sammy. What? Who is this lady in the tree? Oh my God, is it Christina Ricci? Yeah. Hi. Um, I'm sorry, who is this? I guess I didn't make much of an impression. How would, how would she have known that that was you? You didn't say your name, you said the word hi. How the f would she know that? I just can't afford something like that right now. You can't afford free? Wait, are you serious? Yeah, if you have dinner with me. No, she's married. What, no clever comeback? Well, he doesn't know that. Um, no, I'm the sorry one. I just thought... What? Well, you seem like someone who doesn't play by the rules. What's that supposed to mean? Right. I'm an idiot. Um, just forget it. Enjoy the rest of your minivan. So in the 10, like the 10 to 15 second interaction that you guys initially had, this woman who looks like the literal definition of a suburban housewife, stressed out mother of seven, which makes sense because her daughter is an asshole. You got the impression that she looks like she doesn't play by the rules? She looks like she invented the rules. Oh, oh, this bitch is psycho. Yeah, she's my least favorite so far. I love Misty, but Serial Mom over here? No, no, no. Hello? Is this the cocksucker residence? God damn you, stop calling here. Hello? Travis? I'm sorry, I think you have the wrong number. Uh, sounds like he doesn't want to be involved. 
But so wait a minute. But all all of the girls haven't made it out yet. Like they haven't showed all of them in real life because they haven't showed the girl, the Santa Clarita diet girl, as an adult. So she must die. And the that like the main girl, the one the one whose boyfriend psycho mom is boning. We haven't seen her as an adult either, right? I'm sorry if I'm interrupting you too. Completely not giving a shit. Jeff. So you are listening. Of course, we're listening. Yes, Callie, can you? Are they going to school? Nope. That daughter needs to get hit by a truck. Callie forgot to take the meat out of the freezer, so I killed a rabbit in the garden. Skinned it, chin to anus. Jesus Christ, Mom. Okay. Oh my God, they don't think that she's being serious, but she's being serious. Too low. Well, they can't start eating the bodies of the people that didn't survive because A, they don't know when people are gonna come to rescue them. They should probably bury them because they can't leave them sitting out because it's gonna attract bugs and it's gonna attract animals. Why does she keep looking over at him? Does she like him? Does she wanna eat him? I'm in the market for a new bed. Something king-sized. Ooh, she's like, I need my mattress to be firm. My new bed needs to be really sturdy, so we should probably test a few options. That's what's about to happen. Wait, is she all like sexed up now because she just killed a rabbit? This is all my fault. I kept screwing up in my piano lesson last week. Mrs. Brophy kept yelling at me. So I called her a bad word. Oh, sis. No, 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 no. Why don't you call her? Cunt. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. I call everybody a <laughs> <laughs> See? They don't mind it either. <laughs> I used to sneak downstairs after everybody had gone to bed and watch The Color of Night so I could pause it on Bruce Willis's wing. Wait, you can see his penis in that movie? Misty, what are you doing? Oh, is she gonna try to cauterize it or something? He's still bleeding out. What about you, Shipman? <laughs> Any secrets big enough to crash a goddamn plane? Yeah, she f***ed your boyfriend. <laughs> I mean, she didn't do anything wrong. She seems to be the most intelligent one there. Bianca, you look really good too. Um, are you eating less or just barfing more? Barfing more. What is that? Why is there a red light? What is that? What does that say? What was that? Okay, so I went back. It said recorder, recording. So it was like the flight recorder. That's not like the like a like a beacon or anything. Isn't that just a log of everything that happened on the flight? Which I mean, I guess would be useful when they were rescued. Unless that is a beacon and she's gonna destroy the beacon because she wants to spend more time with everybody. I was getting coffee and I and I saw you. Engine trouble? Looks like it. You going someplace? I'm off today and tomorrow too. Misty did it. Mm. I had some errands to run, but, but you know, I could I could take you up there if you wanted. It could be like a road trip. Wait, is Misty like the, 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 the secret villain of it all? And uh, psycho killer mom, rabbit murderer? She's like the outwardly presenting villain, but not the mastermind. They don't hear this? I mean, she didn't walk that far away. <gasps> Misty. See, this is why you don't bully people, folks. Because if your plane goes down... All right, so that was episode two of Yellow Jackets. I can officially say that I am hooked. Misty, I mean, Misty did a bad thing, but I love Misty. I'm not gonna pretend to be that type of person that doesn't. The rabbit killer, so I'm very, very curious to see how that's going to go, if she's going to track down this Bianca person and end up murdering her and then serving Bianca to her family. Maybe that's what's gonna happen. <gasps> well, you know what? Maybe if Psycho Mom, if she like goes crazier than she already is, maybe she'll kill 
that horrendous brat of a daughter. I like that it's not like, like that the, the back and forth, it's done well in a way that I don't feel like it's like, both both are interesting, the the present day and the, the crash. Um, Cause like with, with a lot of shows and TV shows when they jump back and forth, I usually find that there's like a point where only one of the narratives or points in time I find interesting. So far I don't have that issue. And I'm assuming the fact that we've only seen a couple of the people as their adult selves. I'm, I'm assuming we'll probably see more because they like they just got in the car to drive up north to visit uh, the one guy. So I'm assuming some of them lived and some of them didn't. I think in the first episode they said that there was like, I don't remember how many survivors they said, but th definitely more than we've seen. I don't know, I'm into this show. Let me know what you guys think about this and I will see you for the next two episodes.